Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to combine games. This actually comes in handy for a few different reasons. If we have the same game, but from different regions, or for instance, some PlayStation 1 games have multiple discs like Final Fantasy 7. LaunchBox has a built-in ability to kind of combine those games. We can also manually expand them after the fact. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I mean, what we need to do first is import some games that have multiple files. So I'm going to go with uh, PlayStation 1. We'll start out here first. Now this is really going to help out with people who aren't using PBP files and have games with multiple discs for PS1. So I'm going to go ahead and import ROM files. I'm just going to go through the process here and I want to import my PlayStation 1 games. And during the process, this is going to be the most important part combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game. If we leave this unchecked, it's going to import all of those files. PlayStation 1 games can have multiple, like Final Fantasy 7. So what I'm going to do is choose combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game. I want to make sure this is checked. We'll choose next, and it's going to populate my list here. And as you can see, we've got Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 7, and Final Fantasy 7. 1, 2, and 3. LaunchBox is automatically going to combine these for us, so we don't have a bunch of multiples in our PlayStation section. So I'm going to choose Finish here. And once this is finished up, as you can see from my PlayStation list here, we've only got one of those PlayStation 1 games. We've also got a badge indicating that this is a multiple disc game. And if for some reason you just needed to go ahead and start from a certain disc, we can right click, play version, and we can start from here. So we've got disc one, two, and three. Another thing we could do here is expand these discs so we'd have all three of them in our section. Now I'll show you this in the next segment because uh, you know when expanding these multiple disc games it doesn't really make too much sense just kind of cluttering up your whole launch box setup. But it's easy enough to do by going to edit, expand selected games. It's going to give me a little warning here. Additional application ROM in the selected games will be expanded out into separate games. Are you sure you want to continue? If I choose yes, it's going to expand all three of those discs here. But for multiple discs, this is something I personally don't need to do. So that's the first use case scenario for combining ROMs. Now we're going to move on to something a bit different. So on my desktop, I've got a Sega Genesis folder. And in here, I've got uh, the European version the Japanese version, and the U.S. version of The Art of Fighting, or Art of Fighting. I'm going to import these into LaunchBox. So we'll go to Tools. We'll just run through the process one more time. And first thing I'm going to do here is just let LaunchBox automatically combine those ROMs. We've got all three, European, Japanese, and the U.S. We'll choose Finish. And once that's done, when I head over to my Sega Genesis section, you can see we've only got one game. Now another cool feature we have in LaunchBox are badges. So this is the multiple versions badge. That way we know we've got multiple versions of this game. So if I just wanted to play the Japanese version, I would right click, play version, and I can choose it from the list here. Now personally, I'm just going to go with the US version of this. But another thing we can do is expand these ROMs. Remember, with PlayStation 1, we took a look at this. Right-click, Edit, Expand Selected Games. And for this, I'm just going to choose Yes. Now it's going to expand those, and now we've got three separate versions. The US, Japanese, and European. Having a bunch of the same games in a list can be a bit cluttered. A lot of people won't want to do this. But if for some reason you've got some games that are imported and they weren't automatically combined for some odd reason, we can actually do it right here. So I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and I'm going to select all three of these games. I'm going to right click and I want to combine selected games. We can set this up to be the Japanese version up front, European or US, and US is the one that I want to choose. Okay. And now it's going to combine those games. And we've got that badge right here. Multiple versions. And if you do want to play the other version, you can just use the drop down right here and choose which one you'd like to play. And by the way, we can also change the main version here. Mine's set to USA, but we've got those three versions in total. All we need to do is right click. We're going to go to edit, 
edit metadata and media, additional apps, and from here we can set the default. So default right now is going to be USA, but if I wanted the Japanese version to be the one it would default to, I would just make default right here. So we'll choose yes, okay, and now when I hover over it, we can actually see that it's changed from USA to the Japanese version. So yeah, combining game versions and discs in LaunchBox and BigBox is really simple. On the import process, I would highly recommend just leaving it checked, but if for some reason you needed to expand them or recombine them, remember you can always do it directly from here. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.